and welcome to Butler School. So tonight, as you can see, we've got a bit romantic um, because tonight we're talking about candles and we're talking about five things that you didn't know about candles. So first of all, let's have a look at this humble dinner candle. Oh no, I've just spilt wax all over the table, silly me. But don't worry, because that's number one of our five things, is how to remove candle wax from materials. So from your tablecloth, from your shirt, from anything else. If you spill candle wax on it, just do this simple trick, it'll work every time. Now whatever you do, don't stick it in the washing machine. If you put it in the washing machine with the wax on, that wax is going to be there forever. So this is what you do, it's much easier than that. Just get some newsprint type paper, clean. It's much better than, you can do this with newspaper, but if you use newspaper, it has ink on it. So you always run the risk of transferring the ink onto the cloth. So plain paper is better. If you don't have any of this sort of paper and you're trying to do it, kitchen roll will also work, but I find this works better. Get a hot iron, get it up as hot as you can, but you don't want any steam, just heat. Then simply hold the iron, and all we're doing is blotting up the the wax from the table so we just get nice and hot and what's going to happen is the wax will melt into the paper and then when you take the paper away you also will have removed the wax so can you see can you see it already melting in and just keep doing that until you've got rid of the whole lot okay so that's number one how to remove wax from a tablecloth all you need is an iron and some paper so Number two, five things you didn't know about candles. So have you ever got a candle and a candle stick? You put it in and it doesn't fit. It's all wobbly. Now I know people try all sorts of things. They're trying to melt the end of all this quite difficult. No, no, no. Really easy way to do it. Take some cling film or saran wrap, wrap as they call it in the United States. Fold it up into a nice neat strip like this. Then take your candle and simply roll the bottom part of the candle in the cling film like this, leaving some over at the bottom. Push that in nice and firmly. And there we have it, a nice solid candle that doesn't wobble. Okay, excellent. So next tip, if you've got candles and you want to last a bit longer and not drip, just put them in the freezer for 12 hours before you want to use them and you'll find they last a lot longer. You'll find that candles that would normally last four hours will last more like eight, so all the way through your dinner. So that's number three. Number four, scented candles, lovely. Beautiful, this one's jasmine I think, lovely. But don't use them for dinner because the scent will change the flavour of the food. So if you've got a sticky, sweet smelling scented candle and you're serving some sort of lightly flavoured dish, you're going to completely destroy the dish. So don't use scented candles at dinner. The one exception for that may be if you're outside and using citronella to stop the mosquitoes coming by. So that's four tips that you didn't know about candles. Number five is when to use a candle. We only use candles when it's dark. So we only use candles at dinner time. We don't put candles on tables at breakfast. We don't put candles on the table at lunch. They only go out on the table at dinner. Right, so there's been our, been our super fast five things that you didn't know about candles. If you want to know any other butler tips, please subscribe, watch all of our other videos. There's quite a few. I think this was episode 26 or something like that. I lose track. There's so many now. So please just have a watch and any questions, anything you'd like to know, just leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. So this has been me, Simeon Rossi. Thank you very much. Goodbye.